What is up, Geeks and Geekettes? It's a very special edition of the Countdown City Geek Cast. We're here to talk all about Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. I am Steady. With me right now is the man, the myth, the legend, JC. Hi, everybody. And you know this guy, founder of the Countdown City Geek Cast, the one and only Dusty. What's up, guys? Actually, I don't know this guy. Hi, JC. Hey, what's up? JC, Dusty, Dusty, Dusty. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, Yeah, bro. See, I didn't replace this guy. He just, you know. That's what I heard. That's what the rumors were. That's what I heard, but. Rob starts a lot of rumors. Yeah, he does. Rob hasn't been on the show since he lost his Spidey to this. (laughs) It's okay. It I think he did one thing after that, oh, okay. and then that was it. He's got to be really invested in it. I mean, we, I mean, we kind of baited him with like arguing against the lewd. I mean, there you go. Yeah, that's true. Let the nerds rage it out. Yeah, exactly. Those are always fun. But, I mean, yeah. Who doesn't like that? And what we're here to do today is rage and nerd out about the Birds of Prey film. What we're going to do right now is actually go over our non-spoiler review, hit all the high points, tell you what we liked, what we didn't like. Uh, nothing spoiler though, no specific details. And then afterwards, we're going to have a second parter where we're going to give our review and we're also going to give uh, a geek cast rating, if you will. So, mm-hmm. let's do it. Let's talk about Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Uh, we were lucky enough to catch an early release. Thank you to uh, Warner Brothers as well as the DC Universe who gave out passes to hundreds or not thousands of their DC Universe subscribers. That's actually pretty amazing that they were able to do that. Pretty awesome. Uh, just another benefit of it. I hope they do this for future movies as well. It's all of cool. them. Yes. All, all of, of them. them. All please. Of them, please. That would be amazing. I uh, really enjoyed it. Yeah, Wonder Woman at 84 especially, right? Um, it was cool. It was, it was a nice benefit to have, and uh, getting to enjoy the movie with a lot of fellow DC uh, Universe subscribers was pretty cool. Everyone was really excited. The energy in the, the theater was fantastic. Mm-hmm. And you know what? It wouldn't have surprised me uh, any less to start out the film the way they did. Um, we'll talk about it in our spoiler review, but I just love the tone of this film from start to finish. Never taking anything too seriously. Always being fun and outgoing. Uh, you probably enjoyed this a lot because you sort of like that kind of humor. Oh, for sure. And, you know, there were actually a couple, like, I want to say at least two scenes that got a little dark. Um, but that's, I mean, that's classic DC right there, but nothing that um, lasted too long. But, yeah, you know, overwhelming humor and lighthearted, you know, very intense fights. Oh, oh very, very intense. <laughs> intense with the sound effects, in other words. <laughs> uh, border and the visuals. Borderline yeah. uh, Mortal Kombat, like, slow motion um yeah. Yeah. Scenes, if you, if you will, like slow yeah. motion, um, just fight missing scenes. The X-ray, just missing the x-ray shots and everything. They yeah. should have done that. That would have been great. That's what we said. Maybe that's the director's cut. Now, you and I sort of ex- expected that they could actually go this far with this rated R film. This was a rated R film because we yeah. watch the animated series, and I think that they pretty much nailed the essence of the animated series and put it on the big screen. Yeah, but I'll tell you this: the animated series is much worse <laughs> than rated R. <laughs> I will say that. Or much, I really want to see. Or them. much yes, better. But, well, I say better, but as far as content, like rated R is like okay, you, it's up to you if you want to take your kids to see this. The animated series is like, don't let your kids see this, or we'll raid your house and arrest you for child endangerment oh, kind yeah. of thing. So, uh, but what I did enjoy, this felt like a Harley movie. It really did. Um, a good lighthearted mix. You said it with the right amount of darkness to it, the DC has done. So as far as the content, I mean, it's what you expect. It was fun. It was really good. You know, going into it, I really wanted sort of DC's version of Deadpool, but not so on the nose that it would be blatantly obvious. But yeah. I love that they really spent this entire movie sort of almost in the mind of Harley Quinn. So Pretty fans much. of Harley Quinn, major fans of Harley Quinn, it's probably what you're going to love about this film the most is that it really is from the point of view of the one and only Harley Quinn herself, which makes it just all that more fun and brilliant and beautiful and wonderful. Um, what else do you got to say about the movie? Casting was good. Casting uh, was casting great. Casting was great, yes. I really, I really enjoyed that. I mean, of course, Margot Robbie just killing it. Um, I'll defend her on that casting all day. All um, day long. A couple things like uh, De- Detective Montoya, they casted her a little bit older. Um, usually she's younger. Yeah. 
I could see I could see but that was, as well. Totally, it worked. You know, her just being a cop and everything, especially, and then, especially with her background and what she had been. Through, yeah, exactly. Kind of sense, yeah, and then the, but the cheesy narrative to go along with, like you know, um, that uh, Harley Quinn gave along with the story was great. Yeah, uh, the only only casting I was like really kind of disappointed in was Ali Wong, uh, just because not enough screen time, huh? Not, well, enough, not screen enough screen time. time, and not enough of like like you see her on the poster, her your credits on there. Uh, she she wasn't really in her humor kind of. Role. It wasn't her element. Yeah, it really wasn't. I mean, she had she had the, the you know her typical look. It was not always be my baby Ali Wong, which is great. But, yeah, you know, uh, still it was pretty cool to see her in this movie. Uh, I was questioning uh, Ewan McGregor in this role. We've never seen Ewan McGregor as a comic book villain. He's usually playing the hero, so I was wondering how he was going to play this. I want to say. What could have been over the top, I think he wrote a fine line yeah, he was, as, he was as to not going too far over the top with that character. So him uh, playing Roman, uh, a.k.a. Black Mask, Black Mask, I really enjoyed what he did with it. And even uh, Victor Zazen's movie, you weren't, you weren't sure how they were going to play it, and I think that they played it kind of straight and <laughs> uh, didn't feel too corny at uh, maybe a couple of times. <laughs> Overall... I did love the casting as well. I like what they did with those characters. I actually love the the narration of this movie the most. Yeah. Um, they could have told a very simple story. Instead, they decided to keep things really fresh, really entertaining um, by kind of bouncing between uh, timelines and, and all that. We'll get into the specific details in our spoiler review, but I think they found a way to keep the energy um, for the audience very high throughout the entire film just by the uh, creative way they were doing the storytelling. Definitely, you're right on the fresh part. Um, as far as Zaz and uh, Black Mask are concerned, I mean, <clears throat> they were definitely not the traditional types you know, that they're usually portrayed as. And then the relationship in the movie between the two was definitely a new one. Interesting. De- definitely yeah. a new one, too. A very interesting one. Uh, you mentioned how they how they kind of told the story. I like how they developed each of the birds of prey, how they developed their backstory, and how they kind of intertwine that with the story. A little short intros and everything. Yeah, like and it, it wasn't it wasn't like a long drawn out thing. It was it was quick, and you understood it. It was simple. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Um, as far as just our non spoiler view, I think we can just say whether or not we do recommend this film. Um, I'll go ahead and start out by saying I think this is a fantastic film. I strongly recommend it. I think it's a lot of fun. You're probably going to want to be careful with taking two young of age children to go along with you. But I think for teenagers on up, this film is just fine. So I recommend it. Uh, Great date movie. It's just a lot of fun from start to finish. And it's Harley Quinn probably at her best. So Date this is movie, definitely a step up. Or maybe up. want to take out the, with the girls, you know? I mean, <laughs> either uh, or, or the guys, uh, or the guys. It's I fun. Mean, yeah, de- definitely saw um, the girls there too. But like, I mean, I don't think there was any cheesy over the top. Um, you know why I say date movie be- because there's no. there's something in it for everybody. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But no, definitely like the whole like you know the whole girl thing wasn't you know. No, it was good. It was. It, it felt was, it, it, it felt real. It didn't feel yeah. forced, and yeah, no, it felt genuine. Yeah. There you go. At the same time, like so, I, th- I, think I, I actually I really but, enjoyed that part. So, yeah. you you also recommend this movie? I would also recommend this movie, especially since I actually wasn't thinking it was going to do this good. I actually ha- actually had my expectations yeah. a little lower when I watched the previews. It's like casting was good, but I was just I don't know. Like DC's not on the like, best track, and so I kind of I was I was kind of uh, being uh, yeah I was kind of being downer about it. But no, I fully approve of it. Loved it. Yeah, definitely recommend. Man, movies early on in the year don't always perform as well. You don't expect that much from them. You That's know, true. You're just coming off like January's kind of, eh, February's like, okay, <laughs> where, where am I going to take my girlfriend for Valentine's it's Day? Just right? a, just a filler, right? Comic yeah. book movies have been changing that. They that have. Deadpool was the first, I think. That really Deadpool, that. Uh, Black Panther also came out in February. That's true. Um, it's a great date movie. My wife was a bit indifferent about going to see it, and I immediately called her when we got out of the theater, and I was like, you have to see You're going to see this. You're going to love this. <laughs> Shout out to Mighty uh, Tina. Yeah, Mighty Tina. She's going to watch the kids, but I think she's going to enjoy this movie when she sees it. Um, as far as content, I think the only reason it got an R rating is the uh, the two F-bomb rule. Two or more F-bombs, it's an automatic R rating. Also, so, the drug scene is probably... Well, it, it, it's quick. It but is it was, quick, it but was, it was, it's it going to push it over the edge. Maybe a little bit. Some of the violence, but there's no, like, overly... Nothing gratuitous. Nothing gratuitous, no overly sexual things. So if you're worried about that with your teenager, it's fine. You can go see that. So Definitely not a lot of sexual yeah, uh, yeah. references, but... um. 
gratuitous. I don't know. A lot of uh, contortion going on. Usually covered though. No, no bones sticking out. For sure, but yeah, l- too much left. But it made sense. It, it wasn't too done just, much. Sense. It made it wasn't done for shock value. It's like, oh, she probably would have. I was that. holding my knees for like two minutes straight. <laughs> it just, oh my goodness. We'll go into detail in the spoiler review. There you go. So yeah, but I would recommend this. Uh, definite thumbs up. We'll give the full rating later. But oh yeah, for sure. This, yeah. So that's it for our non-spoiler review. Three solid thumbs up from the Geek Cast. Uh, stay tuned for our next video after this. It's going to be our full spoiler review. You're going to want to watch the movie first and then come back and see what we have to say. Uh, be sure to send us your own comments about the movie. You can reach us on Facebook at Countdown City Geek Cast, or you can message us on our website at www.countdowncitygeekcast.com. Go to our contact page and just send us an email that way. Uh, for the Countdown to Decast, I'm Steady, and with me on this non-spoiler, Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn is the man, the myth, legend, JC. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go back to my taco. And the one and only, Dusty. I'm going to steal this taco. Yeah. That's not cool. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Hey guys, AJ and I'm here. For more Geekcast episodes, subscribe to us on iTunes or your smart device podcast app. And please, write us a review. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Countdown City Geekcast. Follow us on Twitter at CCG underscore podcast or visit our website at www.countdowncitygeekcast.com.